Hey guys, what is going on? Devoki here once again. I am gonna be cooking up some takoyaki. Those are these deep fried octopus balls with like sauce on top. This is inspired by Maple Story. I was looking up at Maple Story to see some dishes to cook or some potions that I wanted to brew up and takoyaki looked really good. I remember seeing that in Maple. I never cooked or tried takoyaki before, so this is gonna be very new for me and I'm gonna be doing a lot of experimenting. So before I get into it, I gotta do a little bit of prep work. You guys come with me here in the kitchen. I got some stuff brewing. This is my dashida soup that I've been kind of Cooking up. This is just kelp and onions. I feel like you can do without this, but there are some recipes that ask for dashida stock. So I'm making a little bit of a discount version. I believe you're supposed to also put like anchovies or sardines in here too with um, the kelp and the onions, but this is just a very, I guess, mild version. So I'm gonna have this be boiling and simmering for a little bit. Here in this big pot, I got some water boiling because I wanna go ahead and try to cook my octopus. I have never cooked octopus before, so <laughs> this is gonna be new for me. And then right here, I got my takoyaki pan. I don't think this is the actual one. I forgot the name of this, but I bought this on Amazon, but it's kind of the off brand of what you would want to use like an actual takoyaki, but I thought it would work out because I've never cooked it before and thought we'd just start small. So I just picked this up at H Mart. It's like frozen octopus legs, so let me give it a shot. I was trying to do some research on this and I was getting some mixed answers on like how to prep it. So this is just frozen. I made sure to try to get like the smallest thing I could find. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let me go ahead and just try to get a little piece out. Wait, are these octopus? Oh, this is just a straight up octopus. I don't know what I was expecting. I, I thought it was just gonna be the legs, but bro, this, this thing is an actual just octopus here. Dude, you got the head. I thought they were just gonna give me the legs. Okay, well, we, we got the full octopus and that was unexpected. Before we go any further, I feel like I just gotta get into a little bit of a cooking mode here. Oh, okay, because we are dealing with some real ingredients and I think it's time to get a little more real. Never handled one of these bad boys before. I'm pretty sure I just wanna use the legs for now and then maybe later I can figure out what I wanna do with like the actual body. But I'm just gonna take one of these legs and kinda of cook it. I'm doing a test cook first and I'm gonna go ahead and just like, I don't know, chop off one leg. So we're gonna try out one leg and like maybe blanch it for a bit. Let me wash this though. Do I need to scrape off any skin or is it all prepped? It looks like this was kind of cleaned already too, the way that they packaged it. Maybe we can kind of peel off some of this. I'm gonna rinse it. It's fine. I'm just gonna drop the octopus right in. Look at that, curling up right there. It's been about two minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take it out and see how this is. Okay. Well, cut myself a little piece here. Mmm, I mean, it tastes like octopus from what I remember <laughs> eating it at places. Yeah, that, that's octopus, man. That's straight up octopus. Oh, that's good, okay. So now for the batter, the batter part and a little bit of prep work. I'm following a few different recipes online, but I'll go ahead and post the ones that I'm referencing. So let me go ahead and just start mixing some stuff into this bowl, yeah? So I got one cup of all-purpose flour. Put that in. We're gonna do two teaspoons of baking powder. Doo -doo -doo. And two. So we're gonna do a half teaspoon of salt here. Put that right in. I don't have a whisk, but I have a piece of one of those uh, KitchenAid tools. So I'm gonna see if this works. And I'm gonna add two eggs. So we're gonna do one egg in here. Boop. Oh no, there's a little bit of an eggshell I saw. Come here, eggshell. So one teaspoon of soy sauce. Right in there. So I've been cooling down my dashi broth in some ice water because I don't really know much about like batter or baking but I would assume you don't want to pour boiling hot stuff into your batter so I think I got everything roughly to room temperature for my dashi and this was the stuff that I was making earlier today all boiling up so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in here it asks for one and a half cups of dashi I'm gonna pour that in there and just kind of Mix everything up now, hoping it turns into some sort of batter. I've never really made batter either before, so I am, I'm hoping that it turns out okay. Kind of seems like the batter is pretty loose. I'm not even like familiar with like pancake batter either. I'm gonna transfer the batter into a cup with the little pores so we can pour it easily when we need to. Some long green onions, we're gonna chop these up. Next I picked up this pickled ginger, which I'm gonna go ahead and just chop this up. I never used pickled ginger before, so this will be a first. 
as well. Ooh, look at that. Very pretty color. Ooh, it smells good too. It smells like ginger that you'd get with your sushi. So I'm gonna pick out a few of these. I'm gonna go ahead and chop these up a little bit into some finer pieces. Love the smell of this pickled ginger. The last little prep here, I got bonito flakes, and I've never used bonito flakes either, so this is gonna be new. I'm gonna go ahead and crunch them up into this bowl. It smells really good though. So I'm just gonna put in the rest of that octopus here. It's not really that much. This has been a whole adventure. <laughs> I have been very out of my comfort zone here in the cooking. Usually I am anyways, but let's check on the octopus. Octopus looks like it is pretty good. Yeah, it looks like it's it's cooked fine. And it'll cook a little bit probably in the takoyaki grill too, so we don't need to cook it too much. I cooked this for about three minutes this time, I believe. Get it a little extra, extra cooked. So I got my cooked octopus. They recommend you put it into some like ice water after you cook it to cool it down so it doesn't like overcook. I'm also just doing this so that I can handle it better. <laughs> it's gonna be easier to handle and cut. I'll just cut them into like little bite sizes to be honest. And that's pretty good though. I'm gonna be heating up this pan here. I've always seen people use these skewers to cook takoyaki. So I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing though, but I'm gonna try. Let me get a good amount of oil. I was looking at some tips and tricks and they were saying that you just wanna make sure you put a lot of oil or more oil than you think is necessary in here to kind of help. So I'm gonna fill up each hole with oil. Okay, I'm gonna give it a shot guys. It's, <laughs> let's go ahead and pour the batter in. Okay, and they said to just like overflow it, you know, like make sure you're pouring more than necessary in there. Oh, okay, and then now I got to put pieces of octopus in there. So I'm gonna drop some octopus into the holes. Can't even see where the holes are at. We'll drop a few pieces in there and then some ginger flakes in on top. Some green onions also, just kind of sprinkle it on top. These bonito flakes, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of sprinkle some of these on top as well. And let that cook for a bit. And then also I think they said to like separate it. So like try to separate the holes or yeah, if you can find it. I don't know if I, I know where the holes are exactly. Oh no, it smells really good. Okay, where's this hole? Oh, it's not really. Maybe I gotta wait a little bit to separate it. But usually they're like, you know, constantly separating with some sort of tool in the middle here as it's cooking. If I can just make one nice ball, I'd be so happy. Let me, let me try to flip one. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna flip one, okay? So we're gonna flip it 90 degrees, they said, like this. Oh my gosh, it's working! Oh! Okay, and then they said like, just let the batter kind of fill. 90 degree flip. Oh my gosh. It's a ball. It's a ball! It's happening! <laughs> okay, let me try to flip this one now. Maybe separate it a little bit more. Oh, this one I'm having a hard time flipping. Kind of just stuff the innards in there. They said to do it a 90 degree at the start. Oh, I see now why you need to kind of separate it up a little bit more. Yup. Okay, and then this one, this guy over here, kind of flip it as well, just a bit. I'm kind of seeing that ball shape take place. I'm so slow at this. How do they do this so fast? Uh, uh, cut it. Yeah, it's sticking together here. And then I'm gonna flip it 90 degrees to let it sit on the side a little bit and let it fill up a bit. And then this one will flip 90 degrees as well. Oh, that color is looking really good though. Okay, I'm gonna kind of like stuff it in there. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and just kinda stuff the ball in a little bit. And I think we can now start working on completing this 90 degree circle here. Like another 90 degree, you know? So that we can kinda cover it. Oh, it's so pretty, look at it! Look at this, 
Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and flip this one one more time. Oh, nice. And then we're just gonna keep going through, flipping and stuffing. A delicate process here. Oh my gosh, they look so good. <laughs> they actually look so good. Okay, this one doesn't look as good. This one's a little deformed. Oh yeah. Look at these guys. These takoyaki balls. Okay. And then this one we can flip again and stuff it. Keep just stuffing it in there. until we got herself a nice little ball shape. Okay, they're not like perfect. I've seen better balls. Wait, I've seen them look a little bit better, like they're more round, you know? But hey, they're, they're looking pretty good, I think, for the first try here. What do you think? What do you think, guys? Not bad. Hey, let's go. <laughs> they got that circular shape in there and everything. Yeah, it is kind of leaking out on the sides just a bit. Let me pick up one and see how it looks. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, okay, let's not ruin it. But that's that's like the perfect one. Wait, this one might be even more perfect. Oh, they look so good. We gotta hide the not so good looking ones, you know? <laughs> Kind of get them into the shapes here a little bit. Ah, they look amazing actually, guys. All right, so in the Maple Story dish, they had, I think, four on each like plate, which that would have been awesome, but I think I only have seven. So, hmm. I don't know, this guy's a kind of a chonker at the end. Oh, look at that though. Isn't that awesome? Yo, takoyaki. Okay, it's not finished though. Now I'm gonna put the QP on there which this is the Japanese mayo. This stuff is really good. <laughs> Let me try to like just do a nice little drizzle on top. Like that, does that look okay? And then I got this takoyaki sauce, which I just found this in H Mart as well. It comes in a nice little bottle here. And I'll go ahead and just pour a nice little drizzle of this on top as well. Oh yeah. Boom! I'm gonna actually try to put some bonito flakes on the top. I've seen some people do that with the takoyaki, so I'm just gonna get a few of these bonito flakes and put it on top and see if it changes it up a little bit, you know? My first attempt at takoyaki, right here. Oh, let me, let me get one. Get a good looking piece here. Mmm. Okay. Yo, that is good. Oh, wow. That is really tasty. It's so fluffy inside, too. What? Oh, yeah. The octopus taste coming out. It's so nice. Oh, I like that quite a bit. That was tasty, guys. Well, I kind of wish that I had something to like base this off of because I've never had it before, so I don't know if this is like actually what takoyaki is supposed to taste like. But my goodness, it's good. No, it's really good. I think in the next batter, I'd like to put a little bit more ginger on there. I think a few more octopus pieces in here too wouldn't hurt. Just kind of fill it up a little bit more because this was like kind of a, a pretty big ball. Now these are pretty good sized balls here, you know, because we're not running a restaurant. We're not trying to save money. We're trying to make them tasty. <laughs> so I think it's getting a little extra. Mmm. What a treat. I think it felt like a lot of work because I never made it before and everything was so new, but really there wasn't a lot that went to it. I think this is a pretty simple dish. If you have the ingredients, 
and if you're prepared and know what to do. I think I think this is a dish that's very straightforward. Also, these are super filling. I think this is my fourth one, and I'm feeling pretty full. I am going to cook the rest of this batch, and then probably deliver some to my friend. He's kind of going through a tough time right now, so maybe some takoyaki will cheer him up. I hope he likes octopus. If he doesn't, then, well, it'll have the opposite effect. But <laughs> nonetheless, I want to cook some more up. But that was really tasty. I do recommend it, especially if you like octopus. If you like takoyaki, you can really taste the octopus coming out, which I was surprised because I thought, it was just gonna be like, oh, they're octopus deep fried, you know, balls. And I thought it was just mostly gonna be batter. There is a lot of batter in here, but the octopus flavor is very present and I'm happy about that. I think it tastes delicious. I would definitely like to now try some authentic takoyaki, like how they make it, you know, just whatever secret sauce they load on there, the techniques, I think that'd be pretty fun. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you did enjoy this cooking with the Boki Takoyaki edition. Much love, one love. I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.